let's go to a funny story here. My buddy David Pakman over at the David Pakman Show did one of his Patriot Mail segments. Uh, he's chatting with Benjamin Dixon here, who's another uh, up-and-coming liberal commentator. So everybody check out both of their shows. But listen to what <laughs> was said in this Patriot Mail segment. We don't want to shy away from the craziest of the crazy in today's Patriot Mail. Let's take a listen to it. TYT are retarded as hell. Secular talk looks like a lesbian, but sometimes he makes a good point. Yep. Zip, zip, zibbity. And of course, you're a faggot Jew. Cut. Kill yourself, faggot. That's aggressive, right? I mean, do you get stuff like that? Because that's pretty intense. Yeah, I, I get I get things like that, and I actually love them. So really? it's, it's right up my alley, yeah. And it never makes you fear for your safety? No, no, never really makes me feel for my, my safety. Not yet. I'm sure something will come along. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite part of that is. I mean, obviously the part about me, but the, yep, zip, zip, zibbity. <laughs> what the fuck was that? And I, I have to say, David, it was a nice touch to put, like, the professional announcer voice in there. Oh, that makes it so perfect. <laughs> I've never been, like, just viciously torn down, but also complimented at the same time. Secular talk looks like a lesbian. But he makes a good point every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how do I respond to that? <laughs> I have to admit, though. Hearing that criticism, the initial reaction uh, is, damn, I need to, like, shave my head and grow a really, really thick beard. And this way, nobody will say, oh, yeah, looks kind of like a lesbian. No, they'll go, he's super fucking manly with his caveman face and head and overgrown beard. But no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Does that count as a microaggression against me? My feelings are hurt. No, seriously, as I heard this, I was thinking, I mean, you guys know me, I've spoken about this before, on the whole topic of microaggressions, I think it's so funny, and I think it's so silly. Not only am I not against microaggressions, I'm not even against macroaggressions, if we can call them that. I'm not against aggressions. You know what aggressions are? It's either funny insults like that, or it's somebody debating with you, or disagreeing with you, or whatever, insulting you. It's life- on Twitter. I mean, and to be upset about microaggressions, so what? Somebody made a comment that's like slightly gets under your skin. So I guess we have to call somebody calling you a lesbian or a faggot Jew cunt or whatever he said. That's a macroaggression. No, this, I mean, whatever, man. It's just, it's life online. It is what it is. I think everybody gets it to one extent or another. Obviously, when you're somewhat of a, a, a public figure, you get it more. But, no, these guys seem like they took it lightly with a good heart there, how they're like, you know, yeah, every once in a while I get it, I like it, no big deal. I mean, that's, that's, that's how you gotta approach it. 